The Tranquility Trek Expedition will land on the moon in late 2012 in time for 12 days of non-stop exploration. Then the sun will set and the rover will sleep through the two-week lunar night. Leading companies will sponsor the expedition and get VIP access for their customers. Below the panel for sponsor logos is the radiator. All sensitive parts inside the rover are connected to the radiator to keep them cool despite the blistering heat all around. Four solar panels power the rover's electric motor, which are mounted inside the body where they stay cool and free from dust. The rover gets maximum power when the sun shines on its back. The robot banks its surplus power in batteries with lithium iron phosphate cells. The batteries provide surge power and backup. The rover also can go full power east or west by reversing its camera head. Twin cameras deliver high definition images. The 3D video will let people on Earth see the moon with the same clarity as the 12 Apollo moonwalkers. The rover's telephoto camera will zoom in to show details. We'll see the whole Earth alone in the vast darkness of space. As it explores, the rover will generate tweets and Facebook updates. Thousands of people on Earth will be able to directly ask it questions about its adventure. Orbital probes have discovered a handful of mysterious holes in the moon. These skylights may be entrances to underground volcanic caves, which would be ready-made shelters for robotic and human expeditions. The robot might be armed with a laser to vaporize bits of the wall and floor revealing the skylight's mineral composition. Some human expeditions may roll across the moon in mobile huts to give astronauts access to a variety of locations. Astrobotic rovers will be advanced scouts, making sure the route is safe to travel and gathering scientific data along the way. The first expedition, Tranquility Trek, will seek out the Apollo 11 landing site. Close-up images from the telephoto lens will discover which materials have survived four decades of lunar radiation and micrometeorites. As the lunar day comes to a close, the rover will begin to hibernate for the two-week night. Temperatures will plunge to near liquid nitrogen, 300 degrees below zero. At the next dawn, astrobotic technology and the expedition team at Carnegie Mellon University We'll learn if luck and talent have let the robot live another day on the moon.